So I know on Twitter I said today's slot was going to be an Overwatch video, and I'm not about to go back on that, but rather than do the whole live gameplay thing I usually do, I'm gonna do the pyrocynical leafy thing of just having a scripted recording play over some silent gaming footage. Because at this point, trying to make something slightly more original, like the on-the-spot things I try to do with my other videos, isn't really going to work, and it's going to be a lot more distracting for what I actually want to talk about today. And what do I want to talk about today? Why net neutrality? So today's the day of action to save net neutrality. Or the net neutrality day of action. Or at this point, whatever the hell you want to call it. Basically, companies and nonprofits and people are trying to spread the word about net neutrality because the head of the Federal Communications Commission, part of the United States government in charge of the internet and TV and stuff like that, is being a gigantic cuntwad by trying to undo all of the legislation that was put in place for net neutrality in the United States. By the way, from what I can tell, this is a US only issue as of right now. But if you live outside of the states, showing your support as well is going to really help the cause, especially because the US is piss scared of ruining their foreign relations. So what is net neutrality then? Simplest way to explain it is the freedom to browse the internet. Really, really is that simple. Since I'm a gaming channel, I'm going to equate it to games, because honestly, there's only so much I can say that's on topic to what my channel is, so I'm going to try and stick with that. Imagine your internet connection as a fully featured game release. You have all the features, all the freedom to play it your way, like a, like a AAA title. Basically, you can go and visit any website at any time you want and just kind of fuck around sitting on your ass looking at memes or something, I don't know. Now, if net neutrality is taken away, what we're going to end up with is, in essence, an EA game. Now, I know that it's not fair to EA, but at this point, I don't give a shit. I'm too angry about this cause to consider future business partnerships or whatever the fuck it is YouTube channels do to make money. Without net neutrality, your internet service is probably just reduced to the biggest websites like Wikipedia, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google, etc, etc, ad infinitum. Then if you want to go anywhere else, say Reddit or Netflix or Imager or GitHub or Cornhub, you're going to have to pay extra. You're going to have to buy fucking DLC for your internet connection. What the f- So why the hell does anybody even support getting rid of it? Who the hell even supports it anyways? I'll tell you exactly who. Your internet service provider. Yes, the company that gives you access to the internet wants to take away the essence of the internet. Why? For more money, of course. Because in the year 2017, corporations are heartless bastards that have sold the souls of themselves, their families, their neighbors, and their hamsters in order to get their hands on two bucks and a couple of Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a joke Brutal Moose used that I blatantly stole, so sorry about that, Ian, I love you. So now I'm going to give you the quick option to skip ahead in the video, because I'm about to talk about history and boring legal shit. If you thought it was boring until now, you're going to want to skip ahead. Okay, so the big deal with net neutrality is that corporations have been using the District Court of Appeals to try and get all of the FCC's net neutrality regulations taken down. For the longest time, and by the longest time I mean from 2010, they've been trying to target the FCC's open internet order which basically said that ISPs have to be transparent with customers about their network connection, they have to allow all types of internet traffic, and not unreasonably discriminate the transmission of said traffic. And while all of that sounds good, it still allows service providers to charge for a faster general connection, like you can pay more for a, a faster speed, which while I kinda think is fair, a lot of people at the time didn't and made a big fuss about it. So after that thing happened, Verizon, who are my current internet provider, and I've actually been kind of happy with service-wise, not politics-wise, tried to appeal the open internet order with the Court of Appeals, and that ended up limiting the order to just the part about transparency, which I mean is still something, but whatever. Around that time, a bunch of people argued whether or not ISPs should be reclassified within the government. And the two big things that they argued was whether they should be put under Section 706 of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, or Title II of the Communications Act of 1934. Problems with 706 were that there wasn't really a clear statement that allowed for equal access to content. However, having an ISP be regulated under Title II would only regulate broadband or cable or DSL and not fiber or whatever other technology is used to transfer internet signals. Satellite? 
I don't know if they even use Ethernet cables <laughs> in infrastructure like that. That sounds kind of like a like they're asking for something to fail if they're doing that. Then in 2014, the FCC announced that they were trying to figure out new ways to implement net neutrality within the rulings of the Court of Appeals. The draft rule they proposed, however, allowed ISPs to charge content providers for faster connection speeds. When that passed in May, the website they used to allow public response to the rulings and documents got so many comments, 1.1 million to be specific, that the server for the FCC's website crashed. Did I mention that these comments were left on the same day as the ruling? Because they were. And in fact, this was so important of a ruling that the 10th of September of that year was Internet Slowdown Day, where websites implemented delays into their services on purpose to show what would happen if those rulings were to pass for real. Which was really kind of a big deal, it helped spread awareness a lot. And if that wasn't enough for you, President motherfucking Obama which is his real title now that he's out of office, stepped in and told the FCC off for being idiots and said they should reclassify like they should have from the beginning. So, the FCC obviously go and reclassify the internet as telecommunications, even though the Republican Party tried to pass legislation to stop that, but that's a different story for a different time. They voted on it and it passed, which was great, and then everything was great for a while. The Supreme Court even stepped in and said, yeah, they're allowed to do this, basically squishing anyone's hopes for using the Court of Appeals to try and get rid of these new rules. Okay, now it's time for all of you who skipped ahead to join back in with us. Make yourself comfortable, check how full your drink is, yada yada, good? Okay, let's continue. All of the net neutrality rules have been building up all the way from 2004, and even earlier back in the 90s and even the 80s, when the FCC tried to keep the internet free without government regulation. Of course, because corporations want to make as much money as possible, they tried to get in the way. And everything seemed fine, even with the bumpiness that happened in the later knots. Then the year 2016 rolls its putrid ass flaps across the country and spits acid in the form of an essentially, entirely, corporation-run government. Yes, it's now time to talk about the Trump administration, which is sadly at the heart of this problem. And while I don't really care who is president, or who's in Congress, or any shit like that, I do care when people try to fuck up my area of expertise, which is technology and the internet. So the Donald appointed a new head of the FCC when he went into office, which would be totally unnecessary if the guy in charge didn't decide to leave when Trump got elected. So this guy, this new guy, this fucking guy, actively tried to say that the open internet order took away First Amendment rights from companies. Not the people who are the main people who are protected by the First Amendment, the companies who are trying to screw over the people to make the money. And I admit, the First Amendment should apply to everybody. Corporations shouldn't be treated as, like, a person. Because that kind of gets into the weird bit with that one community episode where they had a guy who was Subway. So, that's... That, that gets... That gets a little complicated when you're talking about that. Basically, basically, he's trying to get rid of all the net neutrality rules that we put in place over the past 10, 20 years, basically screwing the entire country at once. So, what can you do about it? Yes, believe it or not, you can help with this. Even the smallest action can help the whole cause balloon into this giant exclamation point that the government cannot ignore. Best thing is what John Oliver said in the two times he had to change his normal programming to talk about net neutrality on Last Week Tonight, which are both really great, and I'm linking them in the description. Highly educational, highly recommend checking those out. And to use the website he registered, gofccyourself.com, which will automatically redirect you to the filing on the FCC website about net neutrality. There, you can marvel over the copy-paste fake comments made with stolen identities that were funded by Comcast against net neutrality. And then, after that, you can leave a comment of your own stating your actual opinion, which is hopefully after hearing this video and doing your own research because you gotta form your own opinion over your own research and become an educated citizen in favor of keeping the internet open. And also, if you believe your identity may have been stolen, by one of these spam bots that are copy-pasting the same message, 
check out ComcastroTurf.com, which will be linked in the description as well, because apparently your ISP is totally okay with funding smear campaigns that use stolen identities. Yeah, just use criminal information to smear net neutrality. That's totally morally right. So that's going to be it for this video. Remember to contact your representatives and senators, as well as leave comments on the FCC website, and spread the word with your friends and family about net neutrality. It's really important. Can't let this thing... We can't, we can't lose net neutrality, because we'll lose the internet, and you'll get charged out the ass. Now, I know this video was kind of different to the other things I've done in the past, but I haven't exactly figured out what I want to do with Yelp. See, I don't know, Let's Play series, whatever the hell you want to call it. Haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet. Like, kind of, whether or not I should stick with this format, scripted pyro-style video, or make more of a Game Grump sort of thing, where I'm kind of playing the game, having a goofy time, maybe telling a joke or two, telling a story, or even something different from that, I don't know. Either way, content should be back to normal after this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you some other place and some other time. Hey, thanks for watching this video! If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and maybe drop a comment while you're at it. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel where I'll be streaming every Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And hey, if you want to stay up to date on everything, follow me on Twitter for the most accurate news about YouTube, streams, life, and whatever else gets posted on there. And if you want to see more content and support the channel at the same time, be sure to subscribe. See ya!